Hello, and it's Pastor Joe again. It's Tuesday. It's time for our e-blast. I'm glad that you're joining us today. Sunday, by the way, each week I like to give a little bit of report from last week. Uh, services were awesome. We had some people out, obviously. We had some of our band members out, but uh, praise God for our musicians, and they were so faithful, those that were available, to come in and fill in those places and do what needed to be done. So the services just turned out spectacular. God was really there. We're still in that series on knowing God. I'm going to jump right back to that after Mother's Day, but I do have a special Mother's Day sermon. But it is good to see a lot of people coming back uh, from the COVID things that we've been dealing with the last year and, and months to go, all right? So, uh, but we're almost out of this thing. If you look at the numbers, they're just starting to radically go down each and every day. The new cases reported are down into double digits uh, instead of, you know, uh, seven digits and whatever. I think I, I looked at uh, weekly totals last week in Texas uh, for, for the, these counties we live in. It was in, in the hundreds, I think. It's, it's something ridiculous. Uh, getting low. Somebody told me yesterday in San Francisco, they only had like 25 new cases. And so we're a whole lot better off in here in Texas than they are in California. <clears throat> Not just in COVID, but about, well, uh, that's a personal thing uh, in every particular way. I'm a Texan at heart. So praise God. It's good to see what the Lord is doing and glad that uh, you're coming back to church. Let's continue that. Uh, I just have a, a, a brief word that I'm going to tell you about what we're doing on Mother's Day. I, I was reading this morning, and I've been studying for Mother's Day sermon from Matthew. And in Matthew, there's that Syrophoenician Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus and begs for the crumbs from the master's table. Uh, but, you know, there's that right after that, the next story behind that comes into how Jesus is, is feeding masses, of, I mean, uh, healing masses of people, the, the lame, the crippled, and the, the deaf, the blind, the mute, they're all, they're all experiencing miracles and they're just following him by the thousands. And it says in, in that chapter, it says, and Jesus had compassion on the multitude. Jesus always has compassion on the multitude. And I thank God that he has compassion on each of us. But he said, let's feed the multitude. And the disciples are kind of like, what? You know, what are we going to do about feeding the multitude? There's thousands of them. And Jesus says, well, they said, we, ha we don't have enough food. And Jesus asked this question, well, what do you have? You know, what do you have? And they, they said, well, we've got seven baskets or seven, you know, meals left. And it says that Jesus multiplied that. I, I don't know where you're at in your own particular walk in life with the Lord or what your needs might be. But I can guarantee you the Lord starts with you right where you are at to take what you are and who you are, and what you have and place it in his hands today and just realize that, you know, that, 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 that God is alive and that he's working and that he's ready to do something in your heart and in your life and in your dilemma or situation that it might be in. I look back at the book of Job and Job's lost everything, it seems. And, and, but he, he, he makes this statement, I know that my Redeemer lives. And I think that's where we have to come back to in the facing trials and difficulties or situations in our own families, in our own life, or even in our own church, as we just come back to the place that, you know, I know my Redeemer lives, so I'm going to take what I have and I'm going to put it in his hands. I'm going to take what I am and I'm going to give who I am and what I am to the Lord Jesus and let him do right now what he needs to do. If a miracle is needed, let's just start where we are. I, I am what I am. I have a God who is what he is and he's the great I am. So I'm going to trust him to meet me today in my situation. Would you do the same today and let God do something beyond the norm in your life because you're willing to take that step of faith and say, here's what I am. Here's what I have. And here's what I've got. Take control, Lord of this situation. And just as he multiplied the, the loaves and the fish there in that particular situation, out of his compassion for others, out of his compassion for you, he'll do a work in your life. But you got you to gotta start where you're at. Amen. So let him do that today. Mother's Day. I want to encourage you to come on out to church Sunday morning with your families, moms, dads, kids, you know, get everybody together and come be a part of this particular joyful service on Mother's Day. One of the things that we're doing is we have a gift for every mom that comes. So come and, and at the end of service, you'll be given that gift. But we're also having a photo booth. I praise the Lord for those who volunteered to help us with this. We've done this in the past. It's come out just great. The photos come out great. Some of you have been ready for a family photo for a, for a while now. This is a time to call, get your family together, bring them to church, all right? Like my family, my son and his wife, my daughter and, and her husband and children, they're coming. We're going to do a group family photo, and they're going to do their little own unit family photos as well. So come on out. Enjoy this time. Those photos will be made available online. You'll be able to, to, to go online and 
pick which campus you were came at, come at, and the, the information will be there on how to download your particular picture. And you can print them yourself or take them to your, the, the local Photoshop at Walmart or wherever and have them printed however you want. But the photos will be great. You'll have several that will put out there to give you a choice to take what you'd like to take. And it'll take about seven to 10 days to get everything uploaded, but you'll have pictures available and we'll be notifying you. Now, for church members, I'm really encouraging our church members to show up early Sunday morning. You know, at the nine o'clock service at, at Magnolia, we're probably gonna start taking pictures around 8.20, 8.30, somewhere in there. So get there early. And if you haven't signed up, you know, uh, email the church. And that email is info at bfchurch.com, I-N-F-O at bfchurch.com. Uh, send your name uh, to that uh, info at BF Church. Say, I want, to be, I want to be a part of the early group that comes in. Now, at spring, with our 1045 service, we'll start about 45 minutes prior to that service, around 10 o'clock. You can come in and be a part of that service. But come in early, get your photo taken, because immediately following the service, we'll let our guests and those who have guests with them go do their photos first. So it's going to be a great day. Beside that, we're talking about how God works in the life of people, especially in moms. You're going to receive an extremely encouraging word and a needed word from God. So come be a part of our services. I can't wait to see you there. God bless you.